Welcome down to the YouTube channel. Today we've got a great video for you. Charles Pro V. Some say it's the best ball in the world. Close to £50 a dozen. This is brand new. It's going to go head to head against that. We are not too sure what this is. It says tightless, but I don't think it is. I mean, I've done this tee. Feels rock hard. But also we've done some chipping with it and we've done some putting with it. Now, if you look at this closely, it just looks like a bad paint job. Yes, this could be a lake ball refurbished ball or what we don't know if somebody did that at your house you would sack them we're going to do a free all match against a brand new pro vx out of the box against this pro vx what i don't think is a pro vx we're going to call it no name so anyway on the tee liam harrison seven handicapper at this golf club right be a good challenge this very interesting can the brand new spanking ball beat the reconditioned not too sure what it was before it got repainted i'm playing well scores are just come off 74. I'm playing best golf I've played in ages. As you can see, get out in there, ball. That's a brand new Pro V. Right, here we go. <laughs> it just, just doesn't look right, does it? Looks like the moon. I heard moon face, but let's try and put the same swing on. You would expect there'd be a bit of a difference because we don't even know what this ball is. It could be anything. Nearly, might hit the tree if it gets through. See, that's more human error, that. That's why sometimes when you're doing these tests, you could do with a robot. Unfortunately, I am not a robot. I'm a plant pot. That first one, that was a proper hit. I wish I did that back nine Saturday. Right, golf mates. Yes, human error, look. The brand new Spanking Pro V, 67 yards in front of this. I'm left with 195. I've got four iron. How it's landed, I'm looking at all the rubbish. As you can see, and I can see paint dripping off it. It's like one of my painting jobs. If you don't know, I used to have a decorating company. But we didn't go bust, but we didn't do jobs like that. Right, four iron. This needs to be it. Perfect. All right, come on. I told you I'm playing well. Let's keep it up. Four iron! And I've gone right on them chaps. But early doors 195 four iron that were nearly there that i just need to stay down that were nearly there but on the other hand feel off the face it were all right right so we've come down to the beast of a drive i've got one three seven at first i was thinking eight but no i'm gonna go in nine and we're up in the air it's just leaking is he gonna get a bit of the green sit down sit down Oh, it's just vanished. Then there's a little Mackenzie there. Stroke two, driving an iron iron. Can't beat them brand new balls out of a box, but I'm only joking. Give the other ball a chance. Don't be critical yet. You're probably looking and saying, why are you using that, you silly fool? But let me tell you now, you've got to try things and it's all about human error. Next one, I could get an all-in-one on a par four with a dodgy ball. Slight problem here, golf mates. Plenty length, but where I've put it now, it's over the bunker, it's a bit like that. This, in Europe, we call it the Vodafone shot. Very high tariff indeed. I'm gonna have to open the blade and hit it high, and hopefully it stops. And that's with the ball with an no old name. Well, I say a ball with an no old name, it's called Ist. So 58 degree, opening up. In fact, if I pull this off, you wanna give me a comment and a like. I think I've got it. Don't hit the down slope. That was a jolly good effort, that. Seriously, that was a good shot, that. Felt all right. Not too sure if it's got any jizz on it. Right, stroke two, putting for birdie with the nice brand new Pro VX. Left to right. I don't know if you can see that little leaf there. I think over there is the place. <laughs> Boom, shaka like shake the room. Can I get a rewind? <laughs> See that replay then? Never in doubt, even with a shaky backswing I did there. Uh, one under with a brand new Pro V. I always like underdogs winning, but that's uh, it's a gross competition, so it's still in this. This is for a par with the ball with no name. That was a good effort, that, wasn't it? I mean, look at it. Stop it, stop it, look at it, what is it? Ist, birdie for the tightless out of the box and a bogey for Ist. Right, brought you onto a par four. Little bit of wind in, 
So on a forward tee, so it's only about 316 yard, I think, from here. Swapping it around, I'm going to go with uh, the ball with no name first. Look at that, straight down the middle. Boing, 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 boing. And the tee, look at this, it's sat up perfect. I mean, right, we're one under. With the one out of the new box, one under. Similar, left. Is he going to get in that bunker or just short? Stay down. A bit of the neck of that one. So, interesting. But two furways. One dead centre, one a bit left, but we'll take that, won't we? Listen, who do you want to win? Ball with no name or the brand new ball? Personally, I want the ball with no name to win, but it's not looking good. Joe behind the camera is a 28 handicapper. He normally plays with whatever we find on the course or whatever he gets his hand on. What about you? Do you play with reconditioned balls or refurbished balls or lake balls or brand new balls what do you play with just curiosity because uh i'm nosy i'm a right nosy parker next i'll be asking the sort cord in the back right golfing mates i did not know this the new pro v has gone in the bunker there which would have done about 10 yards past this one right it's wind into i've got 109 i've got pitching wedge but like i said the other one's in the bunker i don't think i'll get on the green from there That's a bad swing, that. In the gap. That is a bad swing. For someone who's played so well, that's a bad swing. Right, here we go. I'm not getting on the green. Got me 54. Probably got under an eight. I'm not going to get it there, but I'm, I'm going to try and hit it hard. Best I'm going to do with that lie. Okay. Okay, where's the rake? Right, here we are, golf mates. This is a good one, this, because it's... It's got a Mackenzie there, like a ridge. If you don't know what a Mackenzie is, it's like a two-tier green. No one's lower, one's higher. So you're learning some at the... So I need to get this on the top tier, and I need a bit of check on it. So, can't lie. Clean my groups. Got the Pro-V. And it should check. Check there, see it check and go to the right. You know, I think that's pin high, that. I'm... Uh, very happy with that and it had a little check spin oh jizz is the call it in the uk i'm not too sure if other people call it different things back spin we call it jizz jizzed up right so it was a pitching wedge it was a bad swing by me i'm gutted actually because it's a half decent drive but look at that for a lie uh yeah that is not good that is it is that class is grown in your club one or you can hit that anyway but that's not good that so i've got my 54 left of the pin you want there we can get it similar distance to the other i've done well Ah, always the case with that light. Always the case. Obviously, it worked me. Well, I think it was. Right, I'm gutted about that. I really am. I wanted to make it a fair challenge, and that was a bad chip. That probably had the wrong club, but it was me. That nobody else. Right. Fifty-four. I wonder if it jesses up. It should. There might be a little bit. Get in. That felt all right, actually. Like I said in the intro, I have been chipping with them, so they're not that bad, but what ball it is, I have no idea. But let's pop it in. That's another bogey, that. Right, I'm absolutely gutted for the ball with no name because it deserved better. That was a terrible pitch. I'm thinking left edge, but from here, I'm changing my mind, but I'll stick to my first first thought. I think when you have your putts and you line up, your first, first look at them, whatever you first think of is normally right. Left edge. It was. Outside left edge. Right, bogey and a bogey. That's two over with no name. And level par with this. Let's go to a nice par three now. Right, 155. There's a smallest, smallest downwind. I'm going to go with eight iron. I'm going to go back to the brand new ball, which we know it's a Pro V. The other one, again, no name. Up to now, what am I thinking? A, bit, a couple of bad shots. But only thing I have noticed, one of it an half decent drive on both. It's got less distance, but like I said, it's got no paint on it or anything. I don't know if that makes any difference. Right, A iron. It's a nice. Is he going to get a piece of the green? Is he going to hit the bunker? Oh! Could have been aiming there, but I'll tell you what, that was a nice strike. Really happy with that. Really happy with that. Right. Yeah, divot. Look at the divot. Everything was nice about that. That probably gone more of aiming so I want to try a bit more try for that middle bunker I think that's a better line isn't it 
Yeah. I don't think it'll be big. Right, so the brand new ball is in the bunker. That needs a golden ferret in the hole for a bird if they get under par. A golden ferret is where you chip out the bunker straight in the hole. But no name has possibly got a little birdie putt. Fingers crossed, we all like an underdog. That's why everyone likes Bolton Wanderers. Even in the States, you don't know who they are. Google them, they're rubbish, but they're gonna be your team. Forget bloody uh, Green Bay Packers, it's Bolton Wanderers. Right, happy with that. That one is on a soft landing, look at it. But here we go. I've got my 58, get a base. Bite, bite. That's not bad, that, is it? It's not bad. Got a good chance. Anyway, let's box this, no name. All right, here we go. Now, I thought I hit this one well. It's definitely not going as far. Definitely not. So I don't know if you buy late balls reconditioned. I'll be careful. It's like copping off of a lady at three o'clock at night and waking up the day after. It's not what you bought, you bought, or you know what I mean. Or vice versa, if you're a girl, this lad looks nice and in the morning he doesn't. I didn't see that happening, that went, that's, that's faster than the others. Okay, okay, uh, it's still that one. Oh, no, I ain't doing that on purpose. I'd just uh, come off the hand office of that. I'll probably too busy chatting about my description. What this is, it's, you know, you buy a packet saying uh, like a Snickers or a Mars bar and an opening up and it's like a toffee crisp. I don't think this ball is a tight list. Well, I never. Right, for an up and down. There you go. One over with a tight list and no name, three over. What can I say? Be careful what you buy. Not everything is what's on the box. Give us a like and a comment. See you soon.